Long week continues on Wake Up Today. Every morning we're talking to an expert about a specific topic and getting some legal information. Right now we're talking about family law with attorney Shelby Furr. Good morning, Shelby. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. When we talk about family law, it sounds like it's very broad. So how do you define family law? Right. So family law and family court actually encompasses a bunch of cases. So we are actually known as a unified family court. We were one of the first in the nation to do this, but essentially um, it houses cases that have to do with children and domestic relationships. So those are things like adoptions, guardianships, restraining orders between intimate partners, but also family members. Um, however, most of the time when somebody's looking for a family law attorney, they're looking for help regarding a divorce case or what we call paternity cases, which are just cases um, with uh, families who have children but were never married. And you also handle a lot of child custody cases, and there, there are differences in them too. Yes, yeah, there are. Well, there's two different types of custodies, and this is one of you know, the more popular questions that we have, there's legal custody and there's physical custody. Legal custody is the right to make major decisions in your children's lives. Um, and physical custody, uh, what I tell people is, um, it means primarily where the children sleep. Um, and and so the, that's kind of the two differences, the main differences between the two types of custody. And how would someone start a case in family court? Um, so if you are starting a brand new case, you're going to be filing either a complaint or a petition, or if you have an existing case um, and want to change something like custody, visitation, or child support, you're going to be filing a motion. Um, these are different types of documents, but each of them, and it depends on the type of case that you're filing, but each of them essentially do the same thing. And it's letting the court know and the opposing party know um, what you're asking for and explaining briefly why you're asking for the changes or for the relief that you're seeking. And where can people seek more information? So uh, forms are actually available at the courthouses at the help, the Ho'okele Help Centers um, or you can go online to the Hawaii Judiciary website. Um, you can just Google it. It's like the first hit that comes up. Those are good places to start. However, it can be a little overwhelming. So, you know, it's always best to speak with an attorney because court staff can't give legal advice. So people can, you know, seek consultations with private attorneys like myself. Or if they can't afford that, there are really great programs like the Kapolei Access to Justice Room, which provides um, a volunteer attorney consultation for 30 minutes. You can sign up for that at the courthouses as well. Um, or you can go to programs like Legal Aid or Volunteer Legal Services who provide um, help for a minimal fee. Yeah, because going through the legal process can sometimes get really pricey. But if you'd like more for information, you can call in. The phone lines will be open again tonight and this week during Law Week. There's a number right there, 808-537-1868. Also, you can stop by pop-up clinics across the state. There are clinics on Oahu, Maui, Kauai, and the Big Island. Again, in person, free legal information. But Shelby Fur, we thank you so much for joining us today and for your information and details. Thank you for having me.